right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a Monday. Is it Monday? Monday it night Monday. edition of the Nightly Sports Call. Bob Pompiani and Gene Collier with you at 412-575-2600. You can also tweet us at KD Pomp at Gene Collier. And Gene will begin with the biggest news of the day. Once again, drama surrounding the Steelers. Another suspension. Four games, Marcus Gilbert, PEDs, and he's going to be out now until after the New England game. These are very big games. He's the best right tackle in the league, some say. Your take on this, the timing of it also. Yeah, it's really disappointing uh, um, just from a personal standpoint with Marcus. I mean, I like Marcus. He's always been a uh, helpful and uh, willing uh, um, uh, person with the media and uh, everyone likes him but there there's no excuse for this kind of stuff um, I just, I'm just really disappointed I, you know it's not so much on as on the team they're going to do what they're going to do but I hate to see someone cheating that's cheating it is and regardless of the excuse you know, he claims he was. He took some substance he didn't know. I guess was. Oh, a I know. Nobody Everyone has that. Everyone says that. Whatever. Bottom line: it's four games. He will not appeal. It also means he can't practice. He can't show up at the facility. And it cost him a million bucks. And a million dollars to boot. So Good. it's a very costly suspension for Marcus Gilbert. Uh, we saw yesterday New England in action again. They seem not to be slowing down. 33-8 over the Oakland Raiders. Tom Brady, 30 of 39, 339, and three touchdowns. He has 22 touchdowns and two interceptions That's on the right. entire season. So, looking ahead, and I know coaches don't like to do that, but we will. We are coaches. That game still presents the biggest challenge of the year. From what you see of Brady and from what you see of the Steelers defense, who wins this battle? The Steelers can beat Tom Brady, Bob, if they can keep him off the field. If they can keep the ball for 32 or 33 mm -hmm. minutes, uh, the Steelers can win that game. But they can't win it strictly with their defense. They have to win it with their offense. Right. They have to score when they get the opportunity, but you're right. Time of possession is huge in this game. The less he's on the field, the less he can hurt you. If he's on the field a lot, you're going to be in trouble. And that's just the way it is right now with the New England Patriots. And they hit you from a lot of different positions, wide receiver, running backs, tight ends. They all catch the ball. He spreads it around. It was a great performance by the Raiders, who I have yeah. in the Super Bowl, by the way. I have, about, I have the a lot of people did. I had the Raiders and the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Well, the Seahawks may not let you down, but the Raiders are certainly going to do that. And, the Seahawks will um, <laughs> Marshawn Lynch and company, they're just not going to get it done. Anyway, Pitt and Penn State are playing in the Legends Classic in basketball. That's really? A, is that yeah, tonight? Barkley Center, and right now at halftime, it's 47-21 Penn State. Say, uh, I was Not guess. often will you see head? Penn State favored by <laughs> 10 over Pitt in basketball. In fact, when was the last time you think that happened? Yeah. Pitt's not going to win five times. Well, you said this before. Five times. Or did I say four? Yeah. I think well, I'm coming up. might go back to three after this <laughs> performance. But uh, not a good showing early on. Penn State's a pretty good basketball team. It looks like they could... Potentially do a little bit of damage in the Big Ten. We'll see how that goes. Very little. Um, Penguins are off until Wednesday. They went through a hard practice today because Mike Sullivan, they were off yesterday. You don't get much practice time. I think that's important to get. You don't get very much of it, especially now. Uh, but it's a team that maybe could util utilize a little bit of that. Yeah, I mean, the Penguins have some issues, uh, but those are, you know, I mean, if you're going to have issues, do it in November when there's still nine months to go in the hockey season. That's why we're, I was. Yep, we're going to take your calls at 412 575 2600, but not before I tell you about a really good comedy show coming up. Gene What's is that, right in the middle of it, so we'll give us the information, Gene. Yeah, thank you, Bob. That is Saturday night at the new Arcade Comedy Theater. They moved down the street on Liberty Avenue. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, Pittsburgh uh, Today Live did a nice segment on, on them. So I'm excited to return. That's Saturday night. I'll be with uh, Sean Collier and Susie Lawrence at 8 o'clock, and you can get tickets at ArcadeComedyTheater.com. We'd love to see you. Collier and Collier. Sounds like a law firm going at it at the Arcade Theater. Right. All right, check him out. He's very good live and on stage. Gene Collier, Sean Collier, and who else? Susie Lawrence. Susie very, Lawrence. Very funny. All right, that's all on Saturday night. We're going to take your calls here now. When we come back, 412-575-2600. Let us know what you think about the topics of the day. We're right here live on Pittsburgh CW.